Libras, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a look at what the next 72 hours has in store. We're going to do like a six card spread. And of course, if at any point you do want a personal reading, check out the description box. I will have all of my information linked there. And if you want to see future readings, make sure that you subscribe so you never miss a beat. Okay. So, let's start off with the tarot cards first and then we'll go into the oracles. But the King of Swords, representative of just the overall energy. The message I'm getting... Sorry, I had to fix my leg. The message I'm getting, you're your focal point. You're your primary focus. And there's a lot of epiphanies or personal decisions or plans that you're about to be putting in place. Or if you've already been kind of doing this, this is going to be the time frame in which you're taking action on it. And you're cutting out distractions or realizing the need to cut out distractions or self-doubt or self-questioning that could keep you from doing what you know cognitively, logically makes sense. Also with the King of Swords, this does talk about having to say no, having to put certain boundaries in place. You're starting to realize that the more that you allow certain people to encroach on your boundaries or just not speaking up for yourself en enough and saying no, certain people think that they have access to you or access to your resources or they can pressure you into certain things and you're starting to see how it's getting out of hand. So that that's going to be a, a big challenge you may have to face is setting certain boundaries and certain people are going to be kicking and screaming because of it just know that now going into what you need to be mindful of or watchful for with the ten of wands this is time management make sure that you're not putting so much work on your plate and not delegating enough time to take a break rest recuperate for others of you, this is stress management. How you're dealing with your stress, because stress, life is stressful in terms of just the basis of things that naturally come up. But the way you manage your stress is way more important because that's just a part of life. It's just how you deal with it that's going to either make or break you. So this is a perfect time for you to look at like maybe different coping mechanisms with stress. Maybe getting more physically active, uh, maybe meditating more, whatever works for you, doing art, being creative, whatever this may be, that helps. Hmm. You also want to be watchful for someone who's still holding a grudge. If you've been, you know, wondering like, what's going on with my partner? Why are they acting this way? They could still be holding a grudge. Or if you personally are still feeling a way, you want to be mindful of how that could be affecting you subconsciously and then controlling your actions in the physical. Where it's like you, you feel weighed down. You feel like you can't really, you know, handle much. Now, in terms of the advice, let's kind of go into that. I have the Six of Cups in reverse. So the advice here is to forgive yourself for your past. This has been like a running theme with this video series. I noticed this, but forgive yourself for your past and understand that your past is not your present. I will say this as well. When it comes to soured relationships, it's okay to forgive, never forget. And also to remove, sorry, certain individuals out of your life where you know that having them in your space doesn't really allow you to facilitate that healing you need. And that's okay. Don't let somebody make you feel guilty because of that. Now, going into the possible challenge you may run into, I have the Knight of Wands. So the challenge may be a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo individual. They could be very hot and cold. They could be one second seemingly like doing things to fix the relationship or to make things happen within the relationship. And then they could have other moments where they're acting disinterested or irritated 
or their energy just switches up often and it could be hard for you to read what version of them you're going to get on what day for others of you this could also be your energy you could be having days where you feel motivated driven focused other days where maybe you just feel a little bit burnt out that's why it's important that you're managing your time and your energy wisely okay if your day is already filled with a lot of stress make sure you don't have any additional stress in your life that you could help and you know remove out of your life to where you're overly bombarded now going into what you're not aware of coming into this time frame with the eight of wands in reverse Mm, someone here may not be reaching out to you, a friend, a love interest, a family member, because they could think either they're blocked or you're not over the disagreement or the issues you guys have had. For others of you, if you were about to go on some sort of vacation or some sort of trip, or if you were going to move forward with something but did, decided not to, the message here is it may have not been in your best interest to at that moment anyways. So try your best not to beat yourself up for this because I think you made the most sound decision for you in the moment, especially if this is like relocating long distance as well. Hmm. Another thing to be aware of is what could be blocking your creativity. And this could be consuming like media that's not inspiring or maybe not consuming enough of the media or the people or the content that inspires you and you got to actively do something to get this creative block cleared out by switching up a routine switching up yeah like what your day-to-day -day looks like now last card this is going to represent just the outcome for this time frame and we have the moon card so this represents uncertainty anxiety the unknown so a lot of you are going to be facing your anxiety facing your fears facing your worries or having a chance having a chance to clear up whether or not a fear is based in reality or based in an illusion of what you think will happen or this anticipation of what will happen also, if there has been any secrets that you feel like your person could be keeping or that could be being kept, it will be obvious. Okay, try your best not to go into this assumptive nature, though, especially when it comes to a newer person in your life. If there is anything shady going on, it will be obvious. All right, Libra, what is the message for them? So we have Heal the Ouch. This card is all about your healing journey and respecting it and honoring it and not trying to rush it along and getting frustrated with yourself to where you're not really facilitating healing, but just being yourself down. For others of you, this is also a confirmation that the healing arts or helping people could be your path. You could have been on this journey of learning about yourself through self-development and through certain experiences in life that now you can help other people and you can give other people insight in regards to how to handle their situation a little bit better. And you may not even be aware that that's what path was laid out in front of you. I also have ghost sets. I got both of these cards for Taurus. If you have Taurus in your chart, I would check it out. But with Ghostlands, this goes into recognizing that now is now. The present moment is the present moment. And there's so much beautiful things ahead of you. And your past is the past. Those experiences won't repeat itself unless there's certain things that we're not seeing in either the lesson itself, in certain behavior patterns that we need to adjust in terms of how we're taking action, Okay, or even like revisiting the past, this constant desire to revisit the past and rewrite it is not necessary. You can do that right now in this moment. But I hope that this was helpful and to give you insight. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will talk to you in the next one.